communities worldwide. We broadcast diverse international content from Europe, Asia, Africa, and now right here in the USA. Watch us via Roku on your smart TV. Submit your own content to 1530entertainmentllc at gmail.com. Download the Millennium TV app from the App Store to stream our shows anywhere, anytime. Millennium TV. Millennium TV. To the famous worldwide <laughs> Liddy Show. We're here with Liddy. Liddy's wearing shades, so you're going to wonder why, because Liddy's crazy. But the reason why I'm wearing shades is because I want to stress that it's summertime. Are you ready for summer? Summer, summer, summertime. I don't know the rest of the words. Meanwhile, our doll, our adorable got checked doll, is wearing a winter coat. We've got to do something about it. So I'm going to take my summer shades off. That was just an opening to inspire you to understand that it's summer. Summer is a beautiful season. We're ready to, you know, rebuild, have fun, enjoy ourselves, and keep healthy. So today I got all kinds of little, you know, litty. I'm like a little hoarder. I hoard people, friends, and things. <laughs> so I got all kinds of little things coming on. So we have a guest on the second segment. And the guest today is somebody that is very dear to me. Um, she's my partner in a charity called First Company Pink. She's my partner in a campaign that it's now, you know, synonymous for saving lives, which is called Got Checked. And she's my partner in life. You know, we're very close, we're friends, we giggle, we have a lot of adventures. You know, we live and breed, you know, what we do. It's not a hobby, it's not a job, it's a 24-7 passion. Why so? Because when Don and I got together, we realized that for breast cancer, related to breast cancer charities, but you know, every charity out there. Unfortunately, there is a pattern of always wanting to address the aftermath. We address the aftermath, which is when everything and the damage already happened and the lives are ruined. And I think that's just not the answer. That's how we get with, you know, millions of people with cancer that's how we get with mass incarceration with millions of addicted people because we address the aftermath and so we wanted to take everything all the way to the other side which is early prevention um i don't want to say too much because you know again donna is the president of first company pink which is a reputable you know, uh, uh, Long Island, born in Long Island, but operating throughout New York. It's a charity with a heartbeat. It's a charity that was born out of a woman that is a breast cancer survivor, like myself. So you see the cause is very close to both of us. And so she's going to explain, my boss, <laughs> she's going to explain to you you know how the view because everything is born one way and then you grow you evolve and how the view widened and included the multicultural melting pot that is America and matter of fact the entire world so I have a lot of questions for her. You know, she's a dear friend. Um, you know, again, I'm going to see Liddy's got her old little thing. I'm going to follow my little pattern, right? My little pattern that I always follow, which is asking guests because I really don't want to just interview guests. I'm not a journalist. I'm a human being, so I aim to 
you know, just ask questions to show you the human being behind the machine. So it's going to be, again, two questions for past, two questions for present, and two questions for future. So that's what we're going to do with our Donna. I want to show you, I brought something that I found on my guest, and I want to show you what Donna gifted me. She gifted me a lot of things. But this was something that she gifted me, if I'm not mistaken, right after I was going through with cancer myself, which, you know, it's a struggle. And it's this rock, and it says, I don't know if you can see it, it says hope. Now, I know hope is a little bit of a cliche word. You know, Liddy doesn't like cliche. You see me, I'm crazy. I like to break barriers, right? I like to invent words and things. But hope, at the end of the day, is the most important thing. Hope is the building block to resilience. You can't be resilient if you don't have hope and faith. Think about it. You know, why continue? Right? So hope is the basic of everything. It's so important. Hoping, hope. And like I said last week, when I told you my mother, you know, my mother quote, when she always told me tomorrow's another day, that's hope. Tomorrow's another day. And see, Liddy gets all uncomfortable in her, in her chair because I want to come over there. I want to come and hug you, hold you, explain to you, you know, hope is the most important thing. So thank you, Donna. This is your little gift. I got it over here. Before we get Donna in, I also want to do a couple of other things because then we're going to close with Donna. I want to, are you ready? I want to thank Plastic Surgery of New York because it's related to today. Plastic Surgery of New York with locations with the beautiful offices in Great Neck, Long Island in Manhattan is not only a plastic surgery, you know, there, there are a million plastic surgery locations, but Dr. Alkowitz, which is the founder and the director that, you know, kindly gifted me all these cards, is also my reconstructive plastic surgeon. So on the 30th, which unfortunately is a Wednesday, so we're gonna have to move the Liddy show on Monday, or you're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do the little show in bed, okay, on Thursday. But Dr. Alkowitz is a, an artist. A plastic surgeon has to be an artist. It's the art of rebuilding a body. It's like an architect. You have to know the basic of architecture. Think about it, it's like building a building especially when you do reconstructive surgery. You guys know, because I know there are a lot of you women watching, you know, there are breast cancer survivors. They have scars and, and you know, and, and, and capsular contracture and all kinds of issues and, you know what I mean? You know the importance of a elite reconstructive plastic surgeon. So thank you, Dr. Alkowitz. Now, what I want you to do is I have cards galore. 